Let's go. Mama told me. Yeah. Black Pacey. Mama told me. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Mama told me. One day I'm going to grow up big and I'm going to be a king. And my papa told me. It's okay to say what shit hurts. Don't forget your dreams because they'll get you through this. Hello, Chimbrus55 here. Today I'm going to do a base tour on the World OneCraft Factions PvP server. I've got a few bases and I haven't done one in the past few maps. It's been about five months since I did my last one. And let's get started. First of all, I've got my F home. Which, this is for the non-trusted members. It's basically only a grinder with an enchanting room and tree chest, that's all it really is. It has space for more rooms, but we haven't yet figured out anything to put in them yet, so... They don't get used, but yeah, it's just, it's just a grinder. This is on and off switch. You hit them here, you get the XP. You need to wait, wait a minute for them to build up, so uh, I'm not going to wait for that. I'm just going to go on to the next base. Okay, this is a trusted base where all the main members of um, our faction, we all built this before we made the other base and then started recruiting people. So we got one of our chest rooms, which is up here, which is the, the one that we use most of the time. Um, over over here we have an AFK acrobatics grinder. Get your acrobatics up for the MCM mode plugin. It makes you take less fall damage and a bunch of other things, but I've already got mine to a thousand, and it's like an automatic, automatic thing. All you have to do is stand here, and the water takes you back up and drops you, drops you off, which is giving you MCMO levels every time you drop off. So let's go back up and out of here. And we've got just anvils and like little cra crafting area here, up here. We just got two farms, small farms from basically like the start of the map to help us get supplies and stuff we needed. Um, come down the ladders and we've got all these portals, basically you walk, on the little grinder one first, show you the grinder. Basically you open the door, walk over the top of the pressure pad and then drop off the edge and it drops you down in the water into the room that it says it will go to, so this one says Skeleton XP grind, so it'll take you down there, and then it'll automatically shut the door once you drop down. Anyways, this is our XP grinder. This is where we store our mob loot that we get. Like that one, that's the enchanting room, a bunch of chests to put whatever we want in if we want to store stuff down here. On off switch, it's got a crusher, so we'll crush them and kill them if there's too many down here. And, oh yeah, we've got the auto creeper grinder. Basically, creepers spawn, they die, and then it puts the gunpowder in these chests, so we have infinite gunpowder. We just AFK it all night, and there's creeper spawners along there. They drop down to the pressure, I mean, not pressure pads, hoppers, and then takes all the items up to here. I get a major FPS drop in this base, by the way, so... It's all because of all the water on the outside, because we've got two sand walls, which I'll show you soon. Alright, uh, next up, we got, we'll go to the sea and generator. Too late, I'll get some redstone for that first. Show you what it does. Okay, so we got an auto smelter over here, basically just a furnace but automatic so you can, when we're in the base, it'll be smelting all the time. Take out these blocks, they're not supposed to be here. Okay, so this is our obsidian generator, you put redstone across the top here. Then you go over and press the switch, that is not there. Okay. Yeah, I'll come back to that. Let's 
Get a piece of stone to show you now quickly. Make a butt quickly and stick that in. So then the lava comes out, dispenses when you press the button. Which you know, one more block across. Drops all the obsidian. And it drops it, drops the lava, and makes obsidian. Taking its time. I think it's only because the server's lagging a bit at the moment that it's taking so long. And then you use your MCMO Super Breaker on it and get quite a bit of obsidian. Quite a bit after you do it a few times. We, we're going to make a bigger one, but we just haven't got around to it yet. So it seems, yep, the server is lagging. Is that a crash? Okay, the server just crashed, and I'm back from it. And I'm going to show you the obsidian generator one more time since it, the server crashed halfway through it. You just get your pickaxe, super break along it, and then you get obsidian. Got 24 out of that. There's still one more piece up here, but that doesn't matter. And that's it for this room. We got a ladder going the whole way up the base, so you don't have to use the portal system if you don't want to. That goes down to the grinder. Yeah, I'll show you the rest of the rooms. That's also the tube for the mob grinder right in front of me. So now we'll go to the Enderman, the Enderman grinder. Okay, so we got a strength 2 beacon, I'm not sure why, it used to be like speed and, I don't know, it used to be speed and regeneration, I think, I don't know who changed its strength or why we need it, but um, you come around to the side and you flick the trigger and the enderman starts falling here, it's, it's fairly fast once it gets going. to use the strongest sword on them but we don't but I didn't. Um, this is the bottom of the acrobatics grinder. The thing I showed you second. The where we store our end, end pearls. Yeah I'm sorry about me lagging very bad. It's only this base that I lag really bad in where I can barely hit 60 FPS while I'm recording. Next we got the public chess room, which is our massive chess room where we stick stuff and we can't be bothered sorting. Up here is going to be probably an automatic animal farm once we've finished building it. But we got a lot of chests all fully water protected on the back sides and top to stop creeper bombs if there is any. There's been people saying that there is creeper bombs, or creeper eggs, this map. Yeah, we got more chest storage here. We got a heads wall that was nearly full, but everyone took them for their vaults and ch player shops. I'm not sure why, but they did. And our private chest rooms is the last portal, which is the last room for this base. Actually, not really the last room, but the last completed room. And yeah, it's just the play chest rooms. We will get six double chests and put our stuff that we don't want other people touching in them. It's also the mob mob tube that goes through there, the mob grinder tube. And that's it for this base. I'll go to the roof and I'll show you what the sand walls and water looks like in our protection. Okay, I'm at the top of the base, so it's got plenty of water surrounding it. It goes all the way down to the bottom, and you can see it goes all the way down the bedrock. There's like a little gap down the side of the base there. So we got two sand walls and they come up above the base roof by far. That's the base roof all the way down there. It's a beacon stream coming up. And it's got a TP glitch system. 
around it so then people can't TP glitch in. And that just fell off of there. Okay, well, that will be it for this bit. I'll take you to some of my other bases. I'll take you to our vaults that we're building. Me and Enfi both have vaults side by side that we're both building up. The sand walls both go to sky limit, and there's two two sand walls just like the base I just showed you. That's Enfi's right there. This is mine. He's got further and his and than what I have, but mine's basically they're both basically ready to have water put over them, and then they will be raid unraidable. They go all the way down the bedrock. I think he's in his. Yeah, he's down there. He's his name tag. But yeah, they're both side by side. We've got land claimed around it. Um. But then, not completed yet, so I'll show you what I have been using. I'll show you what I have been using as my, my temporary vault. This one's just, this just underground, underneath our, underneath our trusted base at bedrock, surrounded in obsidian with a layer of water over it. So it's probably like the most unraid, unraidable one at the moment. And so we've got six chests in here is where I keep my most valuable stuff because I'd have to get through two sand walls, a layer of cobble with water over the top, and then a layer of obsidian with water over the top. And a TP glitch system, and I put a TP glitch system around around this and put half slabs in the ground so they can't teleport in half slabs. Pe pressure plates. What else have I got? Okay, yep, let's get the starship to do it. We'll show you our farm. We got now an axe. We have a haste 2 beacon. This is my fishing house. We have a haste 2 beacon up on the roof. So that allows us to uh, mine the pumpkins really fast. So it's basically like super breaker all the time on the pumpkins so we can just harvest all our pumpkins to get money. It's going to be a lot bigger once we're done. We put start putting a sand wall around it. We're just going to get it get it really big so it's getting us like about 30k per harvest. So we can become pretty rich. So I got up to like nearly two stacks just out of that one row. Slash home. What else have I got? Nope, I think that's it. We haven't got a spawn base yet, but we're about to build one, and I may do a base tour later on the map. Cause this, is, this, is, this is only like four weeks into this map, so it's it's not really it's not early and it's not late into the map. But um, yeah, thanks for watching.